From the onset, the meeting of Assisi was a mosaic of races, nationalities and beliefs, all together to show the world that it is possible to have dialogue and respect despite diversity. Come, let us look one another in the eyes and let us then see what we have to say to one another. The principal leader of the Orthodox Church, the Ecumenical Patriarch of Constantinople, Bartholomew I, was joined by the Bishop of Rouen, where the priest Jacques Hamel was killed by two terrorists, and Polish philosopher Zomont Bauman. In total, there are over 500 participants, including four Nobel laureates, UN representatives, the chief rabbis of Turkey and Brussels, Orthodox, Protestant, Hindu and Muslim delegations from around the world. Also present were the representatives for the Grand Mufti of Lebanon and the Al-Hazir University in Egypt. The representatives of nine religions had a clear message to denounce fundamentalism as an instrumentality of God. Religions are not the cause of the problem but part of the solution. Therefore, religious leaders have the responsibility to come together, meet to propose values. Pope Francis says the world is bleeding in a time of piecemeal Third World War, not just by two fragments, but by hundreds of conflicting positions fighting each other. To end this situation, the Pope follows in the footsteps of his predecessors, John Paul II in 1986 and Pope Benedict XVI in 2011. The current pontiff's visit and encounter with the leaders of other religions gives a firm message of unity and diversity in a world unable to communicate.